Well, what's going on everybody? Grim here, gonna be doing some more Dark Souls 2 for ya. Alright, at the end of the last episode we had uh, defeated Velstat, the uh, Royal Aegis. I think I fucking pronounced that right. Uh, and uh, met uh, good old Vendrick, who is uh, well, a shell of his former self. He'd gone completely hollow and was wandering around fucking naked. And after wandering around with him for a while, I stole this ring. And now we're going to head into the next section of the game. As you'll see, I travel back to the fucking shaded woods. Uh, because that leads us to this big fucking door here. We're just going to Texas take us where we need to be. All right. Okay, it's kind of annoying that you got to throw the ring on every time you want to open one of these doors. But luckily, you can switch right back even while it's still opening. So before it opens, you can switch back to your regular fucking ring and uh, not have a problem. You can see I'm using the bracing knuckle ring. Uh, hopefully that'll keep me uh, from breaking my weapons on walls and floors and shit like I have been. Alright, welcome to Aldia's Keep. Yeah. Yeah, let's go in there. I totally want to go in there. Alright. A little thing to note right off the bat, you see the kind of like uh, smoky dudes over here? Those are those uh, little kobold dudes from the uh, things betwixt right in the beginning of the game. I'd actually already come in here and lit this bonfire. That is as far in this level as I'd progress, because I didn't want to spoil anything for anybody. Um, and you see they're kind of, they got that aura around them because they will fucking petrify you. Uh, they like to gang up on you and petrify the shit out of you. Luckily I've got a fire weapon, and fire weapon does pretty good damage against these guys. Alright, I think that's all. There's a couple items out here. There is a uh, chest here. Uh, be careful opening it though because it is a fucking mimic. And what it drops for you uh, is the Sunset Staff, which is for miracles and hexes, obviously. And it also gives you the good old Dark Mask, which we'll all remember from fucking Dark Souls, in case you want to go all Skeletor. I'll get you, He Man! Alright, I'm done. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's go into this fucking place. See what it's all about. Probably gonna die a bunch. But that's what everybody wants to see. You don't want to see me succeed, you want to see me die. And that's okay. And yeah, make sure you check all around outside because there's some stuff laying around out here. Twilight Herb, always good, especially since I'm a fucking pyromancer. And I only have two flame swats. Let's go ahead and move in here. Yeah. Uh oh. Looks like we just got invaded. Well, that's no good. All right, bro. Let's do this. You look like a certain somebody. Don't worry, it's not Lucille. Cross-dressing. This is her brother that she was talking about earlier. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought I initiated the backstab. Let's see if he likes fire, huh? Like fire, dude? Well, he kind of likes fire. Well. Too bad, so sad, bro. Later. Alright. Let's keep going. Yeah, you'll notice these things bouncing around. Um, I don't know what the fuck is in there, and I don't want to know. Um, to my knowledge, you cannot bust them open. So, there's a message. Hurrah for thrust, and then try rear. Uh. <laughs> it was funny the first hundred times. All right. Now, I'm sure anybody who watched promos will recognize this room, and especially this big, nasty-looking thing. Which, if you look at it, it kinda... kinda... looks like one of the, uh... like, bones for, like, the Dragon God from Demon Souls, but something tells me... it's not... Shit! No, 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 no. We want nothing to do with that, good sir. Good sir. Fuck you. Fucking dragon. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I came in here with my other character, that thing fucking one-shotted me. Like, no problem. 
It scared the shit out of me too. Back here. Oh, we got a fog gate. Please. No, please, don't come near me. Just leave me alone, please. Leave this place and leave me be, as I'd not see any harm. Yeah. Please. Please. Okay. <laughs> I don't fucking care, man. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Don't you dare. Dare I? Mmm. This is like a red button situation, man, because I kind of really want to do this. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? <gasps> well, I'm still alive. So hey for that. Oh, looks like we let the dude out. What's up, bro? By the very gods! You've really done it! I'm never gonna escape somebody. Thunder Quartz Ring. Some great arrows. Dragon Charm. Crimson Water. Bonfire Ascetic. Great Magic Weapon. Strong Magic Shield. What the hell? Moonhead, Astrologer's Robe, Black Witch Robe. Boasts excellent magic defense. I kind of want this hat. <laughs> Allows a two minute of additional spells if you wear it, hey. All about the magic defense, huh? Um. Well, these don't seem to have any cool stuff. What? You really... I'll never escape him. Okay. Well, when he gets here, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to tell him you said that I won't escape. And we'll see what's what. Alright, not fucking around down here. Let's go up here. And we got a big petrified, uh, ogre. Who's blocking my fucking way. I don't think I really want to thaw that dude out. Or unpetrify him. Thaw him out. He's unfrozen. Come on, Grim. Get your terminology right. Let's see here. And, oh. These mirrors look kind of familiar, don't they? Yeah, they look like the uh, Looking Glass Knight's mirrors. Well, that's because fucking Black Phantoms come out. Stabby, stabby. There we go. You woke up. Good for you. Bye bye now. Actually, this part, funny enough, this part reminds me of uh, old school uh, Splatterhouse. And you're walking through the long hallway and all the uh, mirror ricks are busting out and you gotta kill them. Yep. That's right. I'm claiming. I'm claiming from stole this from fucking Splatterhouse. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we got the uh, greatsword guy here. Who we fought a couple times. And he's pretty bad. These guys don't want to give me an inch as far as getting in a backstab at all. So we're just going to go ahead and beat them up the old-fashioned way. There you go. And nobody's coming out of that one. That's the one we just broke. What about you? No? Well, there's a message in front of that one over there, so I'm assuming a dude's going to come out of there. Northern Ritual Band plus two Petrified Dragon Bone. Oh, there we go. Come on, dude. Come on out of there. Come 
There we go. Ooh! <laughs> I never get sick of seeing that, man. That's got to be my fucking favorite backstab animation. So the way they slide down on it, it's kind of fucking sick, don't you think? All right, anyway. Oh, hey. Chest. Give me the chest. Amazing chest. Amazing chest, it's not a mimic. Woo! All right, we got here great magic barrier. Oh, awesome. No, not amazing chest. Amazing waste of my fucking time. Not a sorcerer at all. Look what the fucking clothes I'm wearing, for Christ's sake. Look like a sorcerer to you. <laughs> okay, so... We can't go up there because there's a fatty block in our way. <clears throat> Luckily, there's this conveniently placed staircase. And yeah, keep walking. Oh... And look, we got another one of those fucking giant basilisks over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and bust out, uh... Is that out? I think I've got... Bolts. Just shoot him right in his big fucking eyes. Those things bother me. Wow, that does fucking balls for damage. Shit, okay. Alright. Well, I don't get too close to this dude. Although he is in a cage. Yeah, but you're gonna try to petrify me. I see that. What are you gonna do, bro? Oh, okay. That's fine, you can do that. I don't think these guys have much in the way of uh, defenses from the back or the side. So generally, if you just stay behind them, they can't do shit to you. And they die real nice. <laughs> crimson water. All that for crimson water. Okay. Oh, we got another chest over here. Hopefully it has something I can actually fucking use and not another spell. Not that spells aren't good if you're a fucking mage, but I am not. Okay. What have we got? Give me some good. Big money. Bonfire ascetic times two. <sighs> Gotta appreciate this level. It's like some kind of fucking weird museum. Apparently all the like to collect things, so go ahead and oh look, a dragon. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. It's nice and dark in here. Let's go ahead and bust out. Yeah, let's bust it. Can uh, where is it? Here we go. Hurrah for light! Yep. Throw a ferrous lockstone in there. Turn them damn lights on. Here we go. Now these paintings, you gotta watch out for them. They've got uh, magic weapons. That was weird. I was getting hung up on him. Come on, dude. Are you going to take a swing at me? There we go. <sighs> Get up. We're not done. And as you can see, along the corridor here, there's more big baddies and uh, fucking cages. I wonder if I turn the lights on if they're going to get mad when I walk past them. Hey man, you can keep chilling up there. I ain't going to bug you. Well, oh, didn't seem to give a shit. That's cool with me. Oh, look, another painting. Oh, another dude. What's up, dude? 
It's weird, I keep getting stuck on these guys. And all they're trying to do is shield bash me. Ooh! Oh! It's gonna sting a bit, huh? I found a door. I know you're thinking poison, but nah, it's nothing. It's not gonna do shit to you. And I just got my Pharaoh's Lockstone back. Can't remember if there's anything behind these. I guess not. I failed. <laughs> okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's that's something very important about this area. Very, very important to do this. Bonfire. Because chances are, especially if you try to take on all the creatures that are in the cages back there, um, you're gonna die once or twice. And here, we have another lovely little area that's full of fucking corrosive shit. Let's see if I can hit him from back here. Nope. Come on. You guys, I know you guys see me. There we go. I think this dude sees me. Come on. I'm not coming in there. At least not with my clothes on. Or any of my weapons. They're really going to make me do this. They're going to make me switch to a fucking crossbow. Just to get their attention. There we go. Come on, dude. Come here, puppy. Come here, puppy. Come out of the nasty, icky shit. So I can kill you. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you do not want to be in front of these guys because, yeah, those bites will do a fucking a lot of damage. Looks like this dude's gonna maybe come out on his own. There he is. Catch puppy. Floosh. <laughs> come on. Big skin, you know, skin looking dogs. They're like fireballs. Get all mad and shit. Whoop. Come on. Yeah, it's actually... Yeah, see, that's why you gotta be careful with those goddamn things. One hit and activated my blue tear stone ring. There we go. There's only two of them in there. So now, let's get butt naked and go in the uh, corrosive shit. Woo! Streaking in the corrosive shit. Art sold name is Soldier Corrosive Urn. What we got over here? Aldia Key. Oh, I'm sure that'll do something. And Soul Geyser, Petrified Dragon Bone. Soul. Ooh. I want to go up there, man. It looks like there's there's a dude up there too. Okay. Let's go say hi to that guy. Before I go running down the creature-filled hallway, I might want to put some of my shit back on, you know, just cause. And... Fire Sword. Magic Shield, huh? Hmm. I'm not sure where the hell I picked that up, but I'll take it. Okay, uh, yeah, I need to put my rings back on. That one, I had that one. Uh, of course I had that. And... What was the other one I was wearing? Now I can't remember. <clears throat> oh yeah, I was wearing the Tearstone ring. Uh, yeah, might as well. Okay. I'm not going to rest at the bonfire just because I don't want to deal with uh, any of those dudes behind the paintings that I already passed. What's in here? Oh, use the Aldia key. Alright. What's up, bro? 
Bet you didn't see that coming. See that? That thing that you have there in front of you? That's my item. Yeah, except that you missed. I don't miss. Well, I can't really make that fucking claim. I miss a lot, but... There we go. Let's see any other immediate threats, so... Petrified Dragon. There's a lot of that in this level. Yeah, dude, it's a wall. Oh, there's something else up here, too. Silver Prod Knight. Oh, hey. That's where those fat guys are getting these, huh? Okay. Is that... Yeah. Whoosh. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with that. And I'm out of fire orbs, but... I think I've got... Herbs I can eat. Still got a bunch of wilted dusk herbs. Mainly because I'm not even going to try and get past this dude. As you can see, the range of that corrosive shit's just coming right out of that cage. Corrosive urn, okay. What we got here? A large soul of a brave warrior, okay. We'll do that. Shit. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> Scared the shit out of me, fatty. Oh. He just broke down the goddamn wall. I'm back here, man. Why don't you fit through this fucking doorway, huh? Yeah. Where's all that strength now? Shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll still run away. I'll run. Not gonna lie. Ah, oh, shit. I want him to do that attack where he swings like that and then he falls over so I can just go wail on his fucking head. There we go. Fuck you, fat man. We got oh, those are the uh, abomination dudes from the uh, bottom of uh, Sinner's Rise. Those guys hit pretty goddamn hard. We're just gonna go ahead and skip that. Oh hey. <laughs> I was trying to get your attention, man. He didn't want to turn around. Come on. And he drops something for me. Petrified Dragon Boat. Man, there's a lot of that shit. Okay, well now we can really appreciate this room. These are all, uh... These look like dead giants. Uh, that they've been cutting up. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clue you into what you already know. The faces on these giants, they look like big assholes. So they're in a whole big pile of ass faces. And all these keep. Anyway, moving right along. Ignoring that guy. We killed a fatty in here. Go and eat one of these, get my flame swaths back, because I'm sure I'm going to need them. Open the door! What do we got behind door number two? A very dark room. Very dark room, that's unsettling. Why is it so fucking dark in here? Simpleton Spice and a Twilight Herb. Okay. Jesus! And I've been invaded by a Black Phantom. Sweet. Okay. We'll do that. I'll fight a Black Phantom. Oh, why the fuck? Whoa! Black Phantom likes to throw some hex shit at me. Okay. Where's my fucking... Why doesn't he come down here and try that shit? 
because homie don't fucking play that. Well, there's the big dude. Now, where's the, uh... Where's the Black Phantom? Oh, there he is. Hi. Oh. Yeah, come on in here. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you, you fucking asshole. What the hell? Oh, Jesus. What? Drink. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I was not prepared for that. Alright, well, I am not fucking hexproof apparently, because that just wrecked the shit out of me, but it's okay. It's okay. You also see I attuned warmth, uh, just so I got some extra healing options going on here. Come on out of there. I know you're there. You know you're there. Let's just do this. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not today, my friend. Not today. Not today for you either. <laughs> Actually hit your friend through you. And whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Telling you, man. Motherfucking thing never gets old. Dragon Hawk Light Boots. Let's check those out. Uh. These practical boots are designed to prevent the alkaloid from slipping on the blood of the sacrifice. Fashion meets functionality. Luckily, these dudes fucking hate fire. That shit got to me either. It's good. Okay. So, at least now I know that I'm gonna get invaded. And there's two big hippo butt guys up here. Uh, let's go ahead and give them a taste of some toxic mist. Get toxic. Huh. So this is like Demon Souls. When you hit them unawares with it, they just don't even notice. They just think they came down with a cold. <laughs> That's cool. I'm fine with that. Get poisoned, you big motherfucker. And get toxic. We're like, oh, nope. Nope, we're not done yet. There you go. That does a pretty good job on these guys, too. I have to fucking write that down. I don't even have to engage him, I can just poison him and stand here like a bitch. And just, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll check my email. Oh, nope, done. <laughs> oh, and he dropped something for me, too. Well, that was nice of him. What'd you drop? Old Radiant Life Gem, sweet. Okay, now what I'm gonna try and do here... So I want to lure this guy uh, to me, hopefully without getting that black phantom showing up. So let's go ahead and put some, put three bolts right in his fucking eye. There you go. No, really? You're just gonna stand there and take it? Come on, man, get angry. Really? That's a little frustrating, actually. Here we go, here he comes. Come on, dude. What, does he not want to come out of the dark? Come on. Look, you can break this table. Thank you. Oh. There we go. We managed to get him toxic. And 
he really wants at me. He's mad. Maybe it's because I poisoned him and set his ass on fire. I don't know. Alright. So now we're going to have that uh, Black Phantom show back up. And I'm going to flame swath his ass. Come on, dude. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Yeah, I'm not falling for that shit anymore. Oh, almost walked off the edge. Bye-bye. <laughs> so that was Royal Sorcerer Navlan. Okay. Apparently that was what the dude uh, back at the beginning was talking about. About, you know, what have you done? You set him loose. Blah, blah, blah. Zedek. Okay, sure. Summon you. And, yeah, it looks... I'm thinking boss fought, guys. Because this is, uh, like, an arena-type place. I mean, just look at... Just... Uh, I can't... I can't help it, man. This game is just... Like, when you get to these areas that are just fucking gorgeous, you can't... I mean, I waste a lot of time just looking at shit in these games. Uh, it's just fantastic. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, we managed to summon Zedek 1. How you doing, bro? Oh, and he's wearing the uh, Pharaoh armor from the cover of the box, which means he's going to be a fucking hard ass. Good to know. I feel better already. Go ahead and eat an herb. Um, is he healed up all the way? Yeah, he's all healed up. Okay. Um, right. Well, let's just go ahead and uh, try to fight this dragon. I think he's thinking that I'm waiting for somebody else. Um, I'm tell him that we're going. Because in here. <gasps> We have to fight the Guardian Dragon. Now, for fighting this dude, obviously, he's got Flame Breath. I mean, I'm sure you fucking noticed that. And like most Dragon-type enemies, he's got an area of effect attack where he flies up and breathes a bunch of fire on the ground. And the best way to get away from it is to run towards his tail when he's hovering in the air. Now he'll also do other shit. Wow, this guy's a fucking mage too. That's awesome. Ouch. Yeah, now... Don't want to lose sight of him. Oof. And that's why. Alright, I know I'm talking. There we go. And he's really not that hard. Really not that hard at all. Yeah, that's right, Zedek. You did a fucking badass job, dude. And you look awesome, too. Nice fashion, souls. Alright, I bow to you, sir. Nothing like having a Sumbro come help you out. And yeah, that was the fucking Guardian Dragon. And that was, uh... Actually, that was Aldi's Keep. Not a very long level, but pretty intense in parts, man. Especially if you're going down that hallway. If you choose to break those dudes out of the cages, it makes it a lot harder. Um, I didn't. Because I'm relying mostly on my... Oh, I found a dragon scale. Mostly on my spells and stuff for protection. And uh, my offense. I mean, my halberd's good, but it's a little slow. You don't want to get into a slugging match in that fucking long hallway because it's just not stacked in your favor. Especially if you aggro more than one of them. But alright guys, I think I'm going to call it for this one right now. Uh, so yeah, that was all the keep, and then we're going to move into the next section, which looks like we're going to have to take an elevator up. Hmm, I wonder where that could be. Alright guys, well thank you for watching, as usual, I always appreciate it. Don't forget to leave me a like, share, or subscribe. Um, leave me comments, I read the shit out of them. Go ahead and fucking tell me whatever is on your mind, whatever you think of my vids, I don't care. I'd love to hear from you. And alright, uh, like I said, the next video we're going to pick it up. I'm going to take this big motherfucker up and we're going to see where it ends. Alright, until then, I will see you guys later.